I was checking my emails, got an email that says I have your account. Somebody has gotten my account. I have been hacked. My account got hacked and I couldn't log into Minecraft. So I tried to log in, it doesn't work. It's no longer mine. Two hundred million sales, a hundred and thirty million monthly players, and a firm hold on the illustrious title of most popular video game of all time. Of course, I'm talking about Minecraft, but what most people don't tell you is that hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of those accounts have been hacked. From gullible kids to celebrities and Mojang staff members, there's no telling just how many people have been affected, and every way that accounts have been hacked, but that doesn't mean we don't know anything. There are thousands of stories from inside and outside the Minecraft community on how a few unfortunate players lost their accounts, and some of them can get pretty interesting. In this episode of Minecraft Uncovered, we'll be exploring some of the craziest stories out there, what hackers did to steal the accounts, and how you can stay safe. Minecraft's problems with security are rooted pretty deep in the game, and they've been around for quite a while. Most of these interesting or relevant stories are more recent, but I do want to talk about one old situation coming straight from 2012, when Minecraft had just hit 15 million sales and Pocket Edition was the leading platform. Yeah, it's been a while. In fall, or autumn for you fancy kids of that year, Minecraft introduced account migration, meaning that you would log in with a Mojang account instead of a Minecraft account and you used your email instead of username to log in. But let's just say it didn't go so smooth. Disregarding the fact that unmigrated accounts have been being hacked and traded for the past eight years, yeah, a hacked Minecraft account with full access cost you a quarter back in 2018, the new system also meant that for 18 days straight, if a hacker had access to any migrated account, they had access to all migrated accounts. And no, I'm literally not even exaggerating. Any hacker could log in to their account, copy the session key, and then log in to any username they wanted. OG names, server owners, Mojang staff even, nobody was safe. Fortunately, it was patched on July 14th before it could cause too much damage. Or was it? You see, eight years later, it's come back to haunt us. In late February of this year, Almost the exact same problem started happening again, except even worse. This time, any account could be hacked. Fortunately, it only worked when you used the old authentication from years and years ago, so this issue mostly affected old servers, which there aren't many of anymore since, you know, they're old. This time around, it was patched in just a week. That's still way too long in my opinion, but hey, all's well that ends well, right? Now that we've covered the authentication exploits, let's move on to a very special exploit found by some very special people. People you should probably be familiar with if you watched the last video. And if you haven't, please, I beg you, I need- Yep, our mine is back, baby. They just could not get enough of everyone's favorite LEGO simulator, and they decided that July 2016 was the perfect time to make their grand return to do nothing really like seriously they hacked maybe two accounts and they had permission for at least one of them so anyways it's another issue of poor security on mojang zen though it was a little more complicated this time around we don't have the full story a magician never reveals their secrets and apparently neither does armine but what we do know is that they managed to make a clone of minecraft's login page and they stole cookies not these ones these ones that gave them access to any minecraft account as long as they knew the email Fortunately, it doesn't seem like anybody was able to figure this one out before Mojang fixed it, whenever that was, I have no idea, since this was a bit more private than the auth exploits, so there isn't much damage to talk about. But our next little exploit was more than a little damaging, and far from private. Before we get into that though, a short explanation is in order. First off, levels of Minecraft account access, and these are super simple. NFA means non-full access, and it means that you have the password and nothing else. From what I've seen, these are usually used as alts for hacking on Hypixel and other big servers. SFA means semi-full access, and you get enough access to log in and change the username and password, but you can't change the email or the security questions. Once again, these are usually just used as alts, but these are a lot more common on factions, skyblock, and survival, where more players than a faction or team means extra power, land, storage, stuff like that. 
Lastly, we have FA, or Full Access, and this is the type of account that almost every Minecraft player has. You own the email, you know the password, you know the security questions, and it's not being tossed around between a few hundred random players like the other kinds. This next exploit, which got patched a few months ago, took NFA or SFA accounts and turned them into fully functioning, real, full access accounts. Now, by itself, this isn't that big of a deal because you'd already need to know the password and the email to log into the account. But because nobody on the internet knows how to have good security, it's not quite that simple. NFA and SFA accounts are so common, you can easily get one for less than a penny. Will it last longer than a few days? Probably not, but still. The reason why there's so many of these is because of database leaks. Popular websites are getting hacked pretty much every day. I can guarantee you that by the end of the year, at least one website that you have an account on will be hacked, whatever it is. These database leaks get sent all around both the normal internet and the deep web, and they can contain millions of combos of usernames, passwords, emails, and much, much more. If you use the same password on Minecraft as on a site that gets hacked, it can be as simple as a quick search through Google to find the login to your account. Combine that with the fact that Minecraft is a game primarily played by kids, and you have millions of accounts that have been lost. Now, NFA and SFA accounts aren't a complete lost cause, since you can easily pull these back to your email and then change the password. Once a hacker gains full access though, it's over. Unless you happen to know the transaction ID of your account, which most people don't, or you find the dispute link in your email within 30 days, your account is gone forever and you're never getting it back. This is exactly the idea behind the FA methods from earlier this year. They were super simple to do as well once you knew the code. All you needed was an internet connection and a browser. Step one, paste the code. Step two, add in your new email and some tokens you can get from inspect element. And step three, press enter. When this code started making its way around Discord and market websites in late February, it was insane. Just for example, hundreds, if not thousands of Minecraft Cape accounts, which are usually sold for like five to $10 as an NFA or SFA, were hacked with this method and sold for two or $300 each. It was also used to get access to OG usernames, though that wasn't as common, and even some accounts of Mojang staff members, which didn't last very long before they got taken back. This exploit was around for almost two months, and a new version of it that was found near the end was around for even longer. Luckily, all of these have been patched, but the damage is already done. The few unfortunate players that lost their accounts from this exploit are probably never getting them back, and they'll be circulating between account sellers for years to come. So, that should about do it for exploits, but we're definitely not done. Even without the aid of special glitches and exploits, hackers and simmers have been stealing accounts for years, and for one reason or another, hundreds of YouTubers, streamers, and celebrities have lost their accounts at the hands of these players. Just recently, for example, a player by the name of Mahers has stolen some high-profile accounts, including the Minecraft accounts of Ninja, the largest Twitch streamer of all time, and a trolling YouTuber by the name of Donnie Bobes. Not only that, but he's also cracked tons of special cape accounts. Just going off his friend list, we find Archie, Fruct Hamster, Guder, and Purple Crystal 2 If you check all the accounts with his skin, there's even more, like Chris the Meme God and Echo Soldier's Minecraft accounts, tons of OGs like Brook and Cheese, Minecon capes, and even some illegal accounts with dashes and accents. Of course, I can't confirm every single account, but he's definitely been getting around. And those aren't the only hacked accounts, there's a ton more. Just a quick scroll through Twitter shows FaZe Tensor, Joppa, Bashiverse, Phoenix SC, Rubber Ninja, and that's just the beginning. Now, looking at all this, you might wonder why the heck is this still such a big problem? This is Minecraft we're talking about here. Not only is it the best selling game of all time, but it's owned by Microsoft, one of the largest companies in not just the US, but the entire world. How is this still a problem? Well, you see, Minecraft security is not so great. Whereas almost every social media and most video games have implemented two-factor authentication through special apps or text messages, Minecraft is still using an old-fashioned password and security question combo. Even that would probably be fine, but since they rarely enforce it, very few people have security questions enabled. On top of that, when they're falling for simple exploits, like the auth exploits mentioned earlier, or the Unicode collisions I talk about in my video about making illegal accounts, go check that out if you're interested, some consequences are bound to show up on the user end. So when you combine poor security, a young audience, and tons of exploits, you can expect a lot of issues. So how can normal players like us protect our accounts? Well, honestly, it's quite simple. 
Starting with your passwords, make sure you're not using the same password on Minecraft as on other websites. The password doesn't even have to be complicated. For example, a good password could be something as simple as, I don't know, mattress555 or cyber33 or something like that. Moving on to the security questions. I mean, honestly, if you add security questions, you're already halfway there. Just try to pick ones that aren't super simple. If your security answers are basic, like red, blue, yellow, anyone who really wants your account can get access in just a few minutes. Lastly, and this is the most important in my opinion, make sure your email is secure because even though Minecraft has horrible security, most email services like Gmail have very good options for keeping your account safe. If you can keep your email safe, even if your Minecraft account does get hacked, it only takes two seconds to click a link and get the account back. So that's going to be it for the video. I really do suggest that you take those steps at the end to stay safe. Even I've had some accounts hacked over the years until I started working on my security. You guys seem to really like the editing in the last episode as well. So I think this new style will be here to stay and I'll just keep improving on it over time. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or check out my Minecraft Uncovered playlist. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.